What's going on guys? So I've got a, a little video for you today. Um, this has been highly requested um, for quite a while now. So I thought I might as well just do it. Um, it's not really a tutorial, but I'm just going to show you how I flight plan in uh, Professional Flight Planet X. So today uh, we're going to plan a flight from uh, London's Heathrow to uh, San Francisco in the PMDG 777-300ER. I'm not actually going to fly that. Okay, so we're going to start out by uh, just and the flight. We are a BAW. Flight number today is 287, going from London to Heathrow, EGLL, to San Francisco, KSFO. Uh, it's a scheduled service. Flight number is BA287. And departing, let's just say we're departing in a couple of hours, so we'll just do it for no, 0200 Zulu. We're going to take uh, Bravo Alpha. Click save. Okay, so we're going to click pan flight. And we'll go step by step. So BAW287, uh, Heathrow to San Francisco. It's saying 9 right, but we can check the weather here. Uh, 21170. Uh, okay, we'll check that in a minute, but I'll just go for a, um, a westerly preference here. We'll change it if need be. But 27 left and 300 one two we'll probably 28 left as well. That's what I like. Taxi time, uh, we only need 15 minutes really. Uh, shouldn't be any longer than that. Well, that's fine. Uh, cost index 100, optimum, 2,000 foot step. Payload, uh, click random until I get a nice load that I like. Um, 225.5 tons is good. I just use EU Ops and don't need any extra fuel for that. It's, uh, 675 for the taxi, which is fine. Route, uh, I got this from a website which I'll link in the description. It's a real world flight plan database site. Okay, so as a route, I just took out uh, some of the step climbs I had in it since that was for the real flight and not actually this. So click on build route. The only thing I want to change here is uh, actually the. Uh, we can put in the Compton Free Golf. And it will be the Golden 6 with the Romeo Bravo Lima transition. Apply that. So all that does is uh, just put in the Sin Star. And it will give us a better ETA and uh, fuel burn. Rather than uh, just say we're going direct to say Compton and then Romeo Bravo Lima direct to San Francisco when we're not. Uh, also for wind, it will actually uplink some winds uh, for the arrival and the departure. So that's that. Uh, alternate wise, I don't really like to let PFH choose it. It normally goes crazy sometimes. But uh, from past experience and what I've seen, they normally use Oakland a lot. So we'll go K O A K, and we'll find the route. It's probably, yeah, look at that. All the way out, that's fine. A little bit more fuel, that's good. Uh, Sacramento, I believe, is the next... Um, Actually, let's just say that our next one will be Los Angeles. Uh, find the route, and uh, obviously we're going to leave it in auto. We can choose which whichever alternate we want, but I'm going to leave it in auto, since uh, the weather's not really a factor there, you can just see it. There's a few clouds around, but it's generally nice, I'm not really too worried about the weather. Okay, so the next part is generally where people run into the most trouble. And a lot of people are curious what I do here. I delete this entire thing just because the automatic adequate airports that PFPX generates are generally a load of crap. Not always, but for the most part they are. So I'll put um, our departure, which is Heathrow. And then we're coming out uh, over Shannon. Shannon looks okay, so we'll use that. Uh, that goes out, and then we're going up towards Keflavik. So we're going quite close actually, so I'll look at the weather there. Uh, for our time of flight, it actually looks okay. Broken cloud and some winds at the east. So we use Keflavik, uh, which is BIKF. So you've got a tiny bit of ETOPS here, so, uh, but that's fine. So we're going to come up over across, uh, see Goose Bay. Oh, Goose Bay is awful. So Goose Bay is pretty much unusable with the weather. Unfortunately, we can't use Churchill just because they don't have the fire cover for a 777. Uh, next point will be Winnipeg. 
that there's uh, actually an eight hour gap where it's just going to be few scattered and broken, uh, which is actually our time. So we could actually use Winnipeg in uh, this situation. So we go Charlie Yankee, Whiskey, Golf, and that will determine the exit point. And then we got, uh, I believe it's Calgary, that's the one. Let's see what I see. There it is. Uh, oh. I want to remove that. If we can. I know Edmonton's up here somewhere. Where is it? There it is. See, I as I like to call it. And that got rid of that. That's fine. Uh, come down. We can use Seattle next. And that'll give us a bit. There we go. And then we can just use San Francisco. So in there, I basically picked my ETOPS ultimates, but I also picked my in route adequate airports and you'll see me put this in our remarks in a little bit and these are the airports that I'll enter into the uh, fixed page along the route just so I can have some situational awareness um, of where our best places to go are. So next, uh, probably 207 minutes ETOPS today and there's a tiny bit of ETOPS here but I'm not going to bother putting any uh, ETP since it's so short. And in the actual aircraft, uh, we use 420 miles, and these arcs aren't actually that. I believe they're a little bit smaller. So you'll see that the actual ETOPS bit here is tiny, so it's worthless putting an ETP. Um, so we'll just do uh, one ETP today from uh, Keflavik. If uh, Goose Bay was uh, adequate, I'd maybe use that as well as ETP 1. But we'll just uh, go Charlie Yankee, Whiskey Gulf, or Winnipeg. Okay, so across the Atlantic, we're going to be using a constant speed cruise, and we could actually enter that into PFPX. Uh, so we do it from our, our uh, oceanic entry point, which is Agori, and we'll go at uh, Mach 84 today, and we'll take that all the way over to I think Burgos. Is it Burgos? Um, well, Burgos rather. Where are you going? There it is, Burgos. And then we'll go back to our cost index, which is 100. Okay? So what I just did now in the remarks, I basically put the uh, in-route adequate airports, so I know what they are, and I have them available to me relatively always. And I can enter them as we go along into the fixed page. Uh, next, I have uh, just a little reminder of the maximum uh, deviation for ETOPS, uh, 207 minutes, which is uh, 1449 North Mars. So uh, here I just sort of reminded myself that we're on a uh, random track across the North Atlantic. If we were on a uh, published track, I would put that uh, and the TMI number just to remind myself. So that's it for this video. Uh, if you have any more questions, please do not hesitate to comment and I'll have to help. And if there's any more videos you would like, Triple uh, Seven or PFPX related, I'll be happy to make them. Thank you and hope you enjoyed this video.